Hey guys, welcome in. Welcome to Anchors Away. This is the show where we set sail on the open ocean and we learn a thing or two about the secrets and the mysteries of the culinary seafood world. Today we're doing fish tacos. It's God's gift to man. It's the perfect food and you're here just in time. Come have a seat with me. Okay guys, first thing first, fish. We're gonna be playing with a little Pacific Cod. No, oh, that's rockfish. Pacific Cod. Um, a rockfish is quite nice. And believe it or not, yes, even crab. Might not be your very first obvious choice for tacos, but I tell you from the bottom of my heart, this is worth trying. I think the texture and the sweetness this briny aroma lends itself to some really fun taco play in the kitchen. And I, I recommend diving in and, and cracking some shells. If I'm gonna go with a rockfish, I'm probably gonna dial my extras down a little bit. If you're gonna bread, like do a Baja style, you gotta get something lean. If I'm gonna go with something in my taco, like heavy guacamole, then I'm gonna turn to my friend, the Pacific Cod or a Ling Cod because that meat is a little firmer, it's a little flakier, it's a little larger. And, and further along in the, in the fish spectrum, sure, you could do salmon. Absolutely, no one's going to tell you no, but it will overpower a taco, so I avoid salmon too. So that's your fish choices. Now, what are we gonna do beyond the fish? I thought, I thought my mom was gonna be jealous. Oh. But she might be jealous of this too. I don't think mama is jealous of your popsicle. She might be. She might be. What were we doing? All right, so we picked your fish, now what are we gonna do with it? How are we gonna prepare it? I, I really recommend taking your Pacific Cod and doing a light, light breading on it and a shallow fry. So a Baja style fish taco. And you need to be careful. It tends to hold more moisture in its flesh, so you're gonna really wanna pat it dry. You're gonna wanna use a non-stick pan because it also has a tendency to stick. Even if you're gonna bread it, it's still gonna have a tendency to do that. Now your rockfish, I like to do a really quick pan fry with it. So you can even go like do a blackened rockfish and do like some chipotle seasoning. Could you broil it instead? Yeah, but I wouldn't. You really wanna monitor this fish. Broil, you tend to walk away, forget. Uh, it's harder to control the heat in your oven. You know, I would pan fry it. So crab, I would go for like a really light tomato and avocado, a little olive oil and salt. And then I would make a real traditional aioli. Not an aioli made with, with mayonnaise. I'm talking about emulsifying your garlic and your olive oil in a pestle and mortar, and then adding your salt, your lemon juice. Oh man, it's so incredible. Let's talk about your vessel from which you will eat. Maybe you'll laugh, maybe you'll cry. Maybe you'll share a sweet moment with somebody, but the vessel is very important. Go with a soft tortilla. Don't go into the hard shell taco world with fish. The reason is the crunchiness is gonna kind of overpower the whole bite. So if you do that, or if you don't do that, you're still gonna wanna warm up your tortillas, get a nice char on them. If you can, not burning, but a nice char and then wrap them in a towel, keep them warm. Put them in your oven, put it on warm. You want a nice warm, fluffy pillow that's got a nice chew in it. So everybody's faced with a choice in their life. And it is, do I use beans or do I not use beans? Skip the beans. Instead, take a ride on the rice train. Do a jasmine, lime, and cilantro rice. It's a perfect carrier for your fish to your mouth. It's awesome. But how am I going to assemble my taco, Richie? It's a good question. If you don't have a taco holder, which who does? Just turn your muffin tray upside down and you'll have perfect little grooves to put your taco shell in and then fill it up. Fill up thy chassel. Chassel? <laughs> What's a chassel? Fill up thy chalice with taco meats and accoutrement and drive it into your face. We did it, fish tacos. It's a couple things. We are paying attention to what kind of fish we're using and how we're going to accompany our, our extras with that. We have crab, we have rockfish, we have lingcod. Mmm. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. It's time for you guys to go. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you learned something. And um, yeah, we'll see you later. I'll leave you one. Take care.
Now, if you're asking yourself, Richie, where can I get my fish? Where do I get my fish? Sickofsalmonchairs.com. We are a community supported fishery. There is no secrecy behind our supply chain. It's linear from beginning to end. We bring it right to your doorstep. Here's a code, Wild Home, 25 bucks off, the first month's share from me to you. This is the time to, to investigate, dive in, push off, have some fun, make some tacos.